Hello, people of the internet. We're back and we're live. Uh, probably for another 15 minutes tonight. Um, cut it short just because I have to get to bed eventually. Uh, but what we're going to cover now is zero fee transaction blockchains. Um, see how they work. See how they work and see if they can. Uh, just a sec. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look at uh, zero fee transaction blockchains like Gas and and uh, EOS and see how they can work without charging any fees for transactions. So how does EOS work without TX fees? Have no transaction fees on EOS. There are no miners in EOS, only block producers, which are voted on. As I understand, blocks that don't have enough transactions won't be accepted by the network. To learn more, you could probably look at the Steam white paper. Well, this is talking about Steam. We're talking about EOS. And block rewards are paid in EOS, correct? So with EOS, more will always be produced. There's no hard cap like Bitcoin. And if the value of EOS fell to $0.01 per coin, would all of the block producers quit and shut the network down? There's no hard cap, just like ETH. More producers will buy more EOS and stake more, increasing the value and increasing the reward they get for producing blocks as in POS or DPOS consensus algorithms, block reward is proportional to how much is staked. So that's the answer. Basically, uh, the people that stake EOS, so let's see if we can find them, get uh, a percentage of the reward for new blocks. So let's see if we can see some of these stakers. Producers. So their daily reward is eight hundred and twenty eight EOS. Mm, I wonder how much that's worth. The top producer gets 828 EOS a day. They have 2.25% of the votes. So that's $5.96. So unlike Bitcoin, there's no miners. That's nearly $5,000 a day this guy's making just staking his EOS. So he has a whole bunch of EOS. I wonder if we can find out uh, how much. Hmm. Doesn't really tell us, it just tells us how many votes they have. Well, if it's 2.25% of the network.
they have 12 million dollars worth of eos and they're making five thousand dollars a day off of that so as the price of the eos goes up or down um people will buy more and stake more um and then they'll be able to earn the eos uh passively just by staking the eos um which means that eos transfers become free just by the way the blockchain is, is designed on the brain stop whatever you do Let's take a look at gas and see if it's built the same way. So obviously he's talking about gas. Let's search Neo instead. Apparently they're looking to implement a transaction fee. I wonder why that is. Malicious transactions. So I guess people are using free transactions just to congest the network and attack it. So this actually happened with a different blockchain um, where people sent uh, tens of thousands of messages at a cost of uh, one burst. Wonder if I can find an example of that message. It took down the entire network and uh, Chasing the sun as I was chasing the one We never looked back from our love alone You never lose, show me love Trying to find an article on it Somebody pumped and dumped it, but where's this message at? Here we go. It's a different Steeman article. It's a it's an article from the or a passage from the Bible in Revelation eight seven. It was sent to uh, thousands of people, causing the blockchain to fork. And it was down for days. So I guess that's what people are doing for Neo now, um, using zero fee transactions. Because this person's paying thousands of bursts to accomplish this uh, this attack on Neo and gas. People could use zero fee transactions to accomplish the same net effect. Um, I wonder if uh, anybody attacks EOS that way. No, there's nobody really talking about it.
So Steam, put by the same uh, creator, prevents... Uh, Uh, using the bandwidth model. In both fee and bandwidth model, there's a, some sort of bandwidth cap for blockchain stability. Fee model lets pe people post any fee amount with their messages to pay for bandwidth. They, they use, and miners have incentives to pick up the highest fee, but don't have to. So typically you end up with the highest fees processed first and so on until bandwidth cap is hit and the rest are pending. This ends up looking like bids and asks you, you see in trading with low fee TX being high and risk low bids to pay less instead of market value. No guarantee they're hit. In bandwidth model, instead of using those incentives, you're guaranteed the bandwidth that is based on the percent of tokens you have time locked or vested. So it's basically the vesting model um, that benefits you if you try to send a transaction. If full bandwidth isn't being used, you can get more temporarily. In fee model, you can spend the network with high fees and prevent other TXs from being processed. That's not possible in the bandwidth model because of minimum guarantee. Because you can rent others your bandwidth and for dollars, bandwidth model can simulate fee model. Bandwidth model wouldn't work on a non-DPoS blockchain because there is no natural incentive like fees to include the transaction for the miner. But on DPoS, they would be considered not doing their job and fired losing future time without job income by income amount of money. Same method is what prospects protects DPoS against censorship, malicious attack, attackers, double pr production, and pretty much everything else. So the way that EOS works and the way that it protects itself against these uh, these fees is by uh, having bandwidth that's uh, measured and uh, and uh, and uh, measured by how much you're staking and how many coins you have. And then um, if you have more coins, you, it's more likely that your transaction will be picked up. It's based on the total supply that you have of all of the coins. So if you have one EOS and you're trying to send a transaction, you're less likely to be picked up than somebody that has 10 locked invested. Um, and as we saw earlier, where there's people with, you know, uh, 12 million dollars worth of EOS that have the largest share and if they were to submit a transaction theirs would be picked up first well that's about it for this session of the live stream we're just going to talk for probably two minutes about uh, you guys and me and uh, how we're going to move forward. Um, so today I completed basically one and a half uh, uh, live streams full of offline recording and, uh, and and live streaming here with you now. Um, my live stream isn't telling me how many people are in here or how many people uh, have followed me and all that fun stuff. But if you guys just want to drop me a follow, I already have two. Um, I'm very happy to have a second one while I was offline for a little bit. Um, and it kind of motivated me to get back into the game. Um, so if you guys just want to drop me a follow, that'd be great. And uh, I should be here every day for the following um, four or five days uh, with more live streams. I should have two tomorrow, um, which have been approved. And I just need to create an intro video and uh, splash screen and a description for those two, um, which I should hopefully get done tonight. Um, yeah. Well, that sounds good, guys. I'm glad everybody's here. I'm glad everybody's happy, and I'm glad everybody's watching. And I think that uh, we have a great future here together. And uh, I just want to thank you again. And we will be here tomorrow um, to continue this live stream um, in the morning uh, or in the early afternoon. All right. Thank you.